x plus xy plus y equal to 5, x squared y plus xy squared equal to 6. We want to find x and y. x and y are real numbers. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell like the video. So here, we can factor from xy. And it will be x plus y equal to 6. Now here, we see x plus y and x plus y here. And xy, xy here. So we call xy a and x plus y b. So I write here a equal to xy, b equal to x plus y. We can conclude from here a plus b equal to 5. And from here, a, b equal to 6. Here, we will see a plus b, 5, and a, b, 6, 2, and 3 works. But if you want to prove completely, we can say b equal to 6 over a. a is not 0, because if a is 0, a, b will be 0. And if we replace a with 6 over a, it will be a plus 6 over a equal to 5. Multiply by a, then it will be a squared plus 6 equal to 5a, and we subtract negative 5a or take 5a to the left hand side, a squared minus 5a plus 6 equal to 0, and we can say if we factorize a minus 2, a minus 3 equal to 0, in the first case a equal to 2, then if we replace a2 here, b will be 3, yes, b will be 3. If a minus 3 equal to 0 means a equal 3, then b will be equal to 2. So we have two answers. Now we should use a equal xy, b equal x plus y. So if I write both cases, in first case, a equal to 2, b equal to 3, we know a is xy, and b is x plus y. We write the second case, a3, b. So I consider this with case 1 and this one case 2. Let's consider both cases. Case 1, A is xy equal to 2, B is x plus y equal to 3. So we will see 1 and 2 works. If we want to prove completely, we say A equal to 3 minus x. Replace it here, x times 3 minus x equal to 2. 3x minus x squared equal to 2. If we take all things to right hand side, x squared minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0. So we can say x minus 1, x minus 2 equal to 0. So one case is x1. If x is 1, then we replace y will be 2. So one answer is this. Second answer 1 and 2, we can see that it works in the first equality 1 and 2 here. 2 plus 2 plus 1, 5. 4 times 1, 4. 1 times 2 times 1 squared, 6. So 1 and 1, you can check that it works. The next one, if x2 here, if you replace, y will be 1. So we found two answers here. Let's consider case 2. In case 2, a equal x, y equal to 3. And b equal to x plus y equal to 2. Here again, we can say y equal to 2 minus x. We replace 2 minus x. y with 2 minus x here equal to 3. And we can say 2x minus x squared equal to 3. We take all things to right hand side. x squared minus 2x plus 3 equal to 0. We can use quadratic formula or use this identity, it will be x. We can say x squared minus 2ax, if I uh, 3 splits up 3 to 1 plus 2, then it will be x minus 1 squared plus 2, and it will be positive because this square is at least 0 plus 2 is at least 2, so it is positive, it cannot be 0. So we've rejected this case. We have only these two answers. Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification, and like the video. Thank you.